Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV's Prime at Nine. I'm Naomi Kikon. Now the news in detail. The CID team of Nagaland Police has arrested two persons who allegedly leaked the Class 12, sorry, Class 11 promotion examination question paper 2022. The two accused persons have been identified as Seruli Sangdam, son of Chogyuse Sangdam of Singar Gifri district, and Chumdi Se Sangdam, son of Atri Se Sangdam of Yinfiri Gifri district. According to the press release, the door was after incriminating digital evidences were recovered from their mobile phones, linking them to the crime. Further investigation is underway into the case. The, the case came to light when matter was reported by the chairperson of Nagaland Board School of Education. The Class 11 Promotion Examination 2022 commenced from April 1 to 23 by the registered higher secondary school and colleges with a common question paper given by the NBSC. On April 10, the political science question paper, which was scheduled to be held on April 11, at 10 a.m. was leaked, forcing the authorities to change the question paper set at the 11th hour. In an attempt to secure a better future for the youth of Nagaland, IGARN, under the aegis of DGAR, has signed a tripartite memorandum of understanding with corporate partners Axis Bank and training partner National Integrity and Educational Development Organization to establish late Captain N. Kenguruse MVC Center of Excellence and Wellness to be located at Cheswema in Kohima District. MOU was signed between Directorate General of SM Rifles. Axis Bank and NIEDO. May I request Addressing the function, Nagaland's Higher Education and Tribal Affairs Minister, Dimjanim Naalom, termed it as a red letter day as it was done in the name of Captain Leit and Kenguruse, who laid down his life for motherland. Imna also said that Captain N. Kenguruse has become an image of bravery to showcase to the nation. He urged the students of Nagaland to join the Center of Wellness. Of our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, who is kind enough to make act this policy into a reality. We are closer to the mainland than ever before in the history of our statehood since 1963 till today. We are closer and we actually are the heartbeat. The notice is the heartbeat of our great country called India. Words are many to say. Actually, I did not really know the whole program was about what. But then, I thought because the Captain N. Kenruze has become an image of bravery to show us to the people of this nation. So, it is a name that is widely known throughout the state, especially by the young men and women. Major General Vigas Lakera, SMIGAR North, informed that the project has been named after Captain N. King Rusi, Center of Excellence and Wellness. He said that education will help to make the country future bright and through education it will give younger generation an option in nation building. He said that children of Nagaland are equal to any part of the country. It is an initiative of Assam Rifles in partnership with Access Bank and NIDO. I have always believed that the power of education changes the destiny of nations. Uh, education helps to make the future of country bright. Education gives 
younger generation options. And education is nothing which but initial building. It helps in building oneself, one's character, empowering oneself so that they can contribute to the society and to the country. To light our constant efforts to reach out to the children of the very remote areas of Northeast. In Nagaland in particular, we started this project of scouting out for talent amongst the young children who could be enrolled into Senex schools. And this project we started about three years back. I'm glad to inform you that today, as we speak, for the current year, we have about 128 children who will be drafted into various Senex schools of Northeast, and all of them have been trained by us. To be more specific, IGR North, which is based in Nagaland, has trained 261 students this year, of which 30, 34 have been selected. Last year, this number was 68. The MOU was signed off with an aim to provide a fully residential education and coaching facility, a wellness module for children from disadvantaged background and rural areas for entry into niche colleges and universities after class 12. The project is like Super 30 in which 30 deprived but talented students will be selected from Nagaland and coach for entry to medical and engineering colleges. Asam Rafal kan ini kan bahal arrange kuli dia ni ni deh tak kan kebi khusi jana di se, aru tak kan amar chokra ni bu nama pera chokra kan ke aru bi likha pera sahite bahal rasta dekha di di. Today we have attended this program and we are very honoured and blessed to be a part of this Assam Rifles. The Assam Rifles along with Exis and Nido have taken up a very good initiative for the youngsters of Nagaland. We are very grateful to Exis Bank, to Nido and also the Assam Rifles for having initiated such a wonderful program to launch the future of Nagaland from Nagaland. Nagaland's Parliamentary Core Committee for the Naka Political Issue held a meeting today at the State Banquet Hall Chief Minister's Residential Complex in Kohima. Speaking to media persons after the meet, Member Secretary of the Committee, Neva Kronu, said that the meeting comes right after the merger of 21 NPF legislators into NTPB, where updating each other had to be done. He also informed that the committee will meet the central leaders after another round of meeting led by the Chief Minister, Deputy CM, UDA Chairman and NBF leaders. Let's have a look at the details. We had uh, this uh, whole committee meeting after this uh, merger of uh, 21 NPF. But uh, from before also we have been working together. But uh, we have to update each other. So after meeting this uh, uh, Prime Minister, uh, and Prime Minister, and others by this uh, Honorable Chief Minister, and then the Chief Minister, and then our uh, Major Chairman, uh, they have updated the members, the whole committee. So after this meeting, uh, again the all committee led by Honorable Chief Minister, Deputy Chief Minister, then DJ Chairman, and then uh, now MPF leader. Uh, also, even though after this uh, political development, we have to work together for a political issue. The voluntary surrender of guns and hunting weapons to Asukomi Village Council ceremony come inauguration of resting shed at Asukomi Community Reserved Area was held on May 13. Togaho Ginimi, IFS Wildlife Warden Dimapur, unveiled the monolith. Speaking at the program, Ginimi said the surrendering of guns is surely God's will and added that we are slowly losing fauna species and by doing this, the Asukomi village was setting a very good example. Ginimi said that the initiative wasn't for short-term benefits but for long-term investments. The Wildlife Warden also assured that the department will always give their full support in this initiative. Example, 
Ja, det er typisk kina, også kommende hippo, alle sidste kina. Det er bare det, som jeg er inde Nogle af eksempel er lige tilbjørn, og kan kunne tage det. Lige tilbjørn, det er jo noget, alle her omlokke ned på den her, ja, In en en kan ik zien zeggen, hier nog een hissa ik ook. Kijk maar, nog een beetje lang. Gewoon met een hier simpele waar hier niet gewoon is het samen, niet een hissa ik ook. Gewoon met niet samen, typu engelen naar komst ik ook. Hier typu ik moet je conservation hier typu je topic hier nog een hissa ik ook. Kan leer nog een sacrifice ik ook. Dit dan een gewoon met een nog zum lam ta, nog een komst ik ook. Gewoon gewoon zum lam ta. Ik heb hier pisa naar komst ik ook. Dr. Hudoga Waichaka, while giving a brief note on Asukumi Community Reserve, said that the idea was initiated in the year 2019. He said that the villagers in the year 2021 rescued a rare primate slow loris and was returned to its natural habitat and for which Kido Aijimomi, IRS CNS Planning and Coordination Tourism Department, conveyed his appreciation to the villagers for the noble act and Hornbill TV awarded the villagers from their flora and fauna fund to the village community for the same. Also, speaking at the program, the Air Force in Oboto, Dr. Brapat Kumar lauded the villagers for taking hardships, climbing top of the hill with tools and materials and having built the resting shed. <laughs> Toilet chicks along with feet. Now this year uh, from the forest department again we received certain amount and the amount which was sanctioned, which we took over from the last sanction, we are planning to give 40 piglets as well as uh, the construction. <laughs> तो मुझे तीन तरह रीज़न दी बो साबी ताते भी साबी तू तो जंगल ही था किसे ये ते अमी कहाँ नहीं के ना घर बनाई शे अमी कहाँ नहीं नहीं इतनो निश्चित कंप्लेन करे ह्यूमन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट कि अमी लगा बस्ती तो तो जानवर आई आसे अमी लगा इतनो गुरु गाउरी तू तो कि कोई अमी लगा प्रॉपर्टी भी डेमेज क ताय लगा मटी ते जाई के ना जंगल काटी शे जानवर खान के उलाई दी शे जानवर खान तो कोबन आ पारे जंगल तो कोबन आ पारे अमी खाने निका कुरी शे Ivan Jimomi, team leader TVBCLN, said that the people of conserved areas doesn't necessarily has to go searching for visitors and government. It is them that come searching and added that their work will reflect back and people with will perceive that their village are full of good people and are all united. Vivika Sema, SEF, while exhorting the gathering, said that the village was funded with meager amount by Department of Wildlife Conservation for construction of resting shed, but with cooperation of the villagers and leaders, they could come this far. This year, when I buy new one, two when I get, I shall go. I'm not going to talk about people like two when I get. If you kill the forest, I kill the community reserve, I kill the community conservation areas, I get. Government, what team? They do it. I get. No, 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 no. As per the community reserve, I get. No, for the society. Tiada alat yang kau lihat ingat na, unit yang ingat na, ekuit itu, government, no kemlaga jono direct reflection government ni tiada ni. This reserve is was funded is funded by the ministry, and then we received very some meager amount, but yes, the villagers and all of us with the GBs and the council, we have come this far. A two-day Central Nagaland Tribes Council Get Together Come cultural program began today in Woka. During 
The executive meeting, the CNTC consisting of three drives, Sumi, Ao and Lota, agreed on the need of forming the Central Nagaland Women's Association and inducted K. Atoli Sema as president and Zujano Paton as general secretary of the association. CNWA and the three tribes apex body also assured to assist and give constant support to the CNWA for the interest of the women community, particularly to the three tribes and Nagas in general. During the meeting, various speakers spoke on the social welfare and interest of the three tribes and shared ideas for the greater Naga common good. The speakers said that the intention of having the three tribe platform is to shoulder the Naga responsibility since the three tribes are the central and heart of Nagaland and has a vital role to play. The time has come for us to realize that the three women leaders who come together work for the welfare of not only for us but for the general public, especially for the Nagas of Nagaland. In fact, I am proud to say that 2008-19 Simabra Inaka. Eight times I can say that whatever accommodation you can arrange, please bear with us. Yes, this is for the good of all our three tribes. Mondo Yanabayana, comfortable. Psychologically, comfortably, and we now let us accomplish our market program. On May 14, Dumaros' program will witness cultural dances from the three communities. The Central Nagaland Legislators Forum is also expected to take part in the program. Deputy Chief Minister Wai Paton unveiled the memorial plaque honoring Apamolota, an interpreter during the erstwhile British India rule and the lone Lota signatory of the memorandum submitted by the Naga Club to the Simon Commission in Piro village on May 12. Paton called the occasion a broad moment because one of its sons had participated in a landmark event in the annals of Naga history and urged for upholding late Abba Moses' ideals by learning to live in peace and harmony. Also, speaking on the occasion, Naga Club President Kola Chale Sie informed that Apamolo had participated in the World War I as part of the Naga Labour Corps in the city of Marseilles, France from 1917 to 18 and later became the first Lota interpreter at the Deputy Commissioner's Office, Kohima. He was also the lone Lota signatory of the memorandum submitted by the Naga Club to the Simon Commission on January 10, 1929, he added. During the occasion, retired Commissioner M. Baton, Principal Secretary E. M. Paton and E. Kim Tung Paton spoke on behalf of the family. MLA Kenny Zako Nakro on Friday inaugurated New Market Community Hall come car parking lot in Kohima in the presence of Kohima Municipal Council Administrator Lanusenla Longkumar, Association of Kohima Municipal Wards Panchayat President, Tejao Sekose and several other dignitaries. The project is a venture of Gohima Smart City Development Limited and New Market Ward under the Smart City Mission. 
Addressing the inauguration program, Nakro congratulated the Chief Executive Officer of KSDCL and New Market Panchayat for the building and urged the New Market Colony to work towards improving the area. He also urged the other ward leaders in Kohima to work with the Smart City team in developing the areas for better facilities and contribute towards the development and uplifting of the city. CEO Kohima Smart City Development Limited and also to New Market Panchayat for achieving this notable and remarkable building that stood today. I'm also grateful to them for helping me in this program as special guests. You who can uh, actively, community, actively you can participate with the Smart City Development Limited so that you can get a very top model by more features more facilities may be added up. Presenting a technical report, Tero Vulto Penyu, Executive Engineer of Municipal Affairs and Additional Charge of KSCDL, said that the project was sanctioned under slum area upgradation as one of the pilot projects of areas based development of Kohima Smart City Mission, funded by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. He said, that the project is a four-story building with an area of 308.68 square meter and cost rupees 2.4 crore. As one of the pilot projects under area based development of Kohima Smart City Mission, funded by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, the project is a four-story building. It's built over an area of 308 square meter. Total build-up area of the building is. 654 square meter for the total project loss is 2 crore for less. The ground floor <coughs> with a build up area of 148.87 square meter has parking of four, four cars in the basement with store and a utility room. That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.